Hey guys, it's Sweeps to be back with another Bee Swarm simulated video and well everybody's wondering where Beesmus is. Yeah, it doesn't look very Beesmusy, does it guys? It doesn't look very Beesmusy, but look we've got answers guys. Arden has finally spoken. I've actually done two live streams because of hints about it going live, on it going to sleep, and on it waking up, and then going to put it out, and he wanted to put it out for Beesmus. Well, we've missed Beesmus! Well, we've got a little special date. It's the day after Beesmus. But let's read a little bit more about it. So earlier today, Onnit was saying that we could basically get, uh, well, this update out. He's going to have a sleep and everything was going to be great. He was going to wake up refreshed and we were going to get the update out. It was going to be amazing. Uh, but then what happened is nothing. And uh, everybody was started complaining on the Discord. So what did they do on the Discord? Well, they stopped it. Yeah, they basically stopped people posting, so everything was blocked and no one could actually post anything on Discord. But we were very hopeful that it was still happening for Beastmas, because that's what Onnit said. I will try to get this out for Beastmas. I will get this out for Beastmas. Uh, but unfortunately, it didn't happen. That's okay. Onnit is a solo dev and he needs to sleep and rest, and that's fine. He probably took on a little bit too much again this year, but that's just Onnit for you. So this is what Onnit now says on the Discord. Finally, he's given us an update. So this is good news, guys. This is good news. Onnit says, I'm trying to best get the game to a reasonable state and we'll be doing a soft launch of the update within the next few hours. The number of new quests will be limited, but the new bees and items, including planters and endgame collectors, will be available. So guys, what that means is the same as what he said about 12 hours ago. He's just going to put some of the basic stuff out and you're going to get to play and I guess we're going to have some basic quests to start with. We're going to have like, it's going to be white around here. That'd be great. We could probably start collecting snowflakes, maybe even gingerbread. So that'd be pretty cool because that's going to be really important. So he goes on to say, Bee Bear will have 10 quests to begin with, and some NPCs will have their Beastmas quests, but you won't be able to get quests or give ornaments to Spirit Bear, Onnit, Honey Bee, Gummy Bear, or Dapper. So, yeah, that's pretty normal, guys. He, he normally lets you do the low-level ones first, and then you have to do the high level, so that's fine. I'll continue to work over the next few days to flesh out the rest of the update. And I'll wait to give out the two-day Honey Day boost until next weekend. Use Flash, guys. Use Flash. There is no code. There is no Bee Swarm simulator code, guys. What? This is insane. This is outrageous. People are not going to be happy. But you know what, guys? That's not a bad thing. Reason? because people basically use the code straight up and uh, guess what well they could have done a whole heap of grinding and got ornaments on the tree guys the tree has ornaments and it has boosts like 10% extra pollen and 25% extra speed and another 5% extra red pollen and all those sorts of amazing things guys so keep that in mind uh, yeah, we're going to get the code late, but there is also going to be another chance at a second code as well. So don't panic. Uh, get as many ornaments on that tree as you can so you've got the biggest boost possible. Of course, that means no one's actually going to have any honey so they can buy those endgame items anyway. But that's a small detail, guys. That is a very small detail. So on it goes on to say, A soft launch will help me see, fix any issues that might occur due to all the changes coming in the update. There are many new mechanics and changes, so we want to make sure things are stable before bringing more attention to the game. So what is a soft launch, guys? Well, a soft launch is basically a way to like uh, do an update but not tell anybody. And I don't know if Onnit has actually been paying attention to the internet, but we have this thing called YouTube. And, well, I'm going to be doing the soft launch, and so is a bunch of other people. So guess what? It's a hard launch, on it. It's going to be a hard launch just because you don't change the actual icon or anything. It doesn't mean to say people won't be playing. So guess what? There'll be 50,000 people playing tomorrow. But anyway, if he wants to call it a soft launch, that's fine, guys. But what? Does he not want the YouTubers to actually tell anybody about it? Psst. Psst. Come here. Psst. Yeah. Guess what? Yeah. There's an update coming, but don't tell anybody. 
Anyway, so on it finally goes on to say, I won't be announcing the update on social media, changing the icon until more has been finished in the quest. Like, guys, we are social media, okay? This, this is social media. This is called YouTube. Uh, there will only be two packs at the moment. So in the shop, there will only be two packs. But they'll probably be really good packs, guys. And I say that maybe they're going to be the B packs, right? There's going to be one for Precise B and going to be one for Boy and B. And then he goes on to say, Although I could add some when the rest of the update is done, I'm running over everything multiple times to make sure I've removed all testing and debugging features and trying to fix a few remaining bugs. Now, I'll let you know once I'm closer to releasing. Now, guys, I'm going to give you the hot tip here. This is good news for us. Because if the testers haven't actually been doing the testing properly, which, whatever happens, but this is great news for you and me, guys, because we haven't been in the test realm. We haven't wasted our time. We've been grinding a whole bunch of stuff, which is pretty cool. And more importantly, if there's bugs, you know what Honor does when there's a bug, guys? We get beast swarm codes. Yes, we do, because Honored has to reboot the servers, and everybody is unhappy. And that is exactly why we're not getting the Honey Day event, right? Because Honored doesn't want us to be using that code, and then he has to reboot servers, and then we lose a bunch of the benefits. So that is the real reason why we're not getting the beast swarm simulator code right today uh next weekend obviously things will be much better for honors and uh hopefully the game has settled down and everybody is playing so in summary guys uh, yeah it's not coming out for a few more hours you won't see the notification change so basically you're just going to get in there and try it yourself okay in a few hours time maybe even when this video comes out just try to get into beast swarm and see if it's updated for you i'll try to update you if i can i might be asleep uh, then there's going to be 10 B-Bear quests to do, so push through as quickly as you can, but it's going to be a few days before we actually get some more uh, quests, and you're not going to be able to do these things for some of the big bears, either like Spirit Bear and on it and whatever, so you're not going to be able to do those sub-quests either, so keep that in mind, guys. No Honey Day boost, but that's coming next weekend, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That is the update. That is where Beesmus is. It's like missing. But it's coming very soon, guys. It is coming very soon. I've been saying that all day. It's embarrassing. But we have had a lot of fun on the live. So make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell because I'm going to be going live at all sorts of weird times. And you are totally going to miss out. Now, I've been playing in the public servers as well. So everybody gets to play with hoops. Well, if you can get on. And I'm trying to change servers as much as I can. And help you guys grind through Beesmus 2021. Anyway guys, that's all i got time for today. Please like and subscribe. I'm on my way to 100k. So thank you very much to all you subscribers. And until next time, it's bye for now.